report from the Government Accountability Office says, quote, there is a lack of security features being built into smart grid systems, unquote. How well protected are we? I think we're, we're pretty well protected right now, but the more that we turn into a two-way system, right now really it's one way in most places, we get more opportunities, but we also have more vulnerabilities. And at FERC, our role is a little bit strained because we don't regulate the retail side of the business, and yet we're tasked with coming up with these standards for devices to talk to each other. Right. And so in that sense, at least from my perspective, grid security has to be our paramount concern. And it's an evolving item, and it's one that we, we have to stay on, and Congress is interested in it too. Once everything is connected, then a bad guy only has to get in at one spot, in theory, in order to affect the whole system. That's the concern. And again, I'm a big proponent of what the smart grid can offer, but if we do have a system that's vulnerable and there's a bad event of a number of people being hacked out of power, that can set all these efforts back years, and I don't want to see that happen. There's been some pushback against the smart grid by consumers in Northern California uh, where they've said, wait a minute, we don't want these smart meters in our house because we don't want our personal data being sent back to the utility. Um, and those people are now actually being allowed to opt out if they want to. Is that concern valid? I think it's kind of ironic when you consider that the cell phone company probably knows not only who you're talking to, <laughs> when you're talking to right. them, but also exactly where you are when you're talking to them. Right. And yet people kind of take that for granted. Right. Privacy concerns are certainly legitimate. In context, uh, particularly or in contrast with telecommunications, that boat has already sailed. 